Okay, we're gonna take a look at this Pioneer CTF500 cassette deck today. Uh, gonna run it through its paces. We're gonna record to it and then play back from it. Gonna record from this iPad, gonna play back to these Bose speakers here that have RCA inputs. And uh, also, let's take a look at the physical condition. It's in really nice shape. It's a nice unit. Uh, the, the lights work on the little meters here. That works fine. Uh, let me hit some lights here so we can look a little better at it. Uh, physical condition is really good. Really good. No issues. Uh, no issues to talk about at all, really. So, really clean unit. And what I have here, plug this in better. What I have here, I have this uh, headphone jack going out to the input here on this side. And then the output side I have going to these bows. So that's the setup, all right? And I've got just a regular uh, Sony HF90 cassette tape. It's not like high bias or anything like that. I'm gonna include a few tapes with this listing. Sorry, excuse the noise. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me go ahead and hit play on the iPad. So that music will be playing and then we should hear it here whenever I hit record on the deck. You see the meters are deflecting. Tape spinning. We're listening to pass through right now from the iPad, into the tape deck, out to the Bose. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the iPad, and pull that plug out. We're going to rewind our tape. This sucker's so quiet. Stop, and then let's play it back. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds good. Sounds good, and uh, yeah, hard press will give you an eject. Soft press like that would stop it. And uh, yeah, there's nothing else really to say because I've tested uh, recording and playback. Everything's in good physical condition. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.